Hi friend, this is Jitendra Bhakna. Today we will going to see M unit testing with mules of part 3. In previous two videos, we have gone through some basic and some advanced concept of the M unit testing with mules of. In today, we will see more, we will explore more components uh, available with M unit testing. Okay, so let me directly start with demonstration. Okay, uh, let me remove this. Let one minute. Uh, just give me a second. So basically, I have a small application. So like we are receiving the JSON message. Uh, this is the JSON message. Okay, via HTTP. We are transforming that message into CSV format. Okay, and then we are converting that byte array or string into the string. Okay, what we will do, we will create the M unit test case for this. Right click, create new test. So, okay, this has been created. I will show you what is the input and what is output. This is my input, JSON message, and expected output is this. Okay, fine. So, I have created the M unit testing. What I will do, uh, I will use set payload as an input message. Uh, let me drag and drop set payload. Okay, let me copy the input message. JSON uh, dot input. Control E, Control C. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. So in set payload, I will just copy this. Uh, this, this. Okay. This is my input message. Okay, input message. After that, uh, I will use some asset to verify the message. Uh, assets equal. What I will say, the actual value is payload. Okay. I will say payload dot frame. Expected value. What is my expected value? Let me. This is my expected value. Okay, so one minute. Yes. Okay, this is my expected value. So let me what uh, this is my JSON input and this is my CSE output. Okay, so we have created one M minute test case where we have set the payload. So this is my input message. It will in this uh, it will call that our flow. Okay, that flow is transforming message C JSON into CSV. Okay, and finally, we are using the asset equal. Okay, if the message and we have to set some fail message. Sorry, message is not in expected format. And okay, that's fine. So I will run M unit. Right click, run M unit. Our test case has been passed. There is a no failure, no error. Okay, if uh, we can see there is a no error, and we can see if you want to see the coverage report, you can do that. So now what I will do, I will try to put some. Uh, I will change. Try to change the message. Uh, okay, I will save it. I will run it. got the error see failure one it's not an error it's a failure okay let me take the error it was saying message is not in, sorry message is not expected format okay if you also see, see this is expected format but was this this okay so but in this case what we have seen we have hard coded the input message okay and we have hard okay hard coded the expected value now suppose if you want to read from some file location. If you want to read the input message from file location, 
So instead of set payload, we can use this is something called a pass template. So instead of set payload, we will use the pass template. I will remove the set payload. In pass template, I will just give a location path. So I will give the uh, location path of this JSON input JSON. I will say source test is sources slash JSON in dot json okay. now what i will do like uh, i want to save the payload as well as the output okay so what i can do i can use message and richer message and richer okay under message and richer okay i can drop a pass template this is for output okay so here i will give a, our output csv output path i will say source test resources slash csv out dot csv okay now i will go to message and say what is our source it will be the payload payload okay now i will set a target so i want to save the output into some target variable so i can make use of flow bars i will say final output okay i forget the square bracket here okay the let me save copy this i will go to assert equal now instead of expected value i can say this is okay the final value okay now i will be testing this again let me tell i will run the m unit okay you can see the uh, test has been passed so now what i will do i will do some changes in this csv i will put some dummy okay now i will run the test it is to fail it will not going to match with our input and with that output file it got failed we will see the error it was saying sorry message not in correct format the okay the expected and but was like that okay so this is the error we got okay uh, this is how you can you know right test your uh, flow using a minute yeah thanks for watching video hope you enjoyed the video